guys, welcome back to my channel. So tomorrow we move into our brand new family home. This is it behind me. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you through our house. I will be doing a room reveal on different parts of the house when I finish decorating and there's furniture in and everything like that. So my beautiful husband Ryan has built this house. As you guys know, he's a builder and I chose all the colors and interior and appliances and stuff like that. I'm very lucky my husband trusts my um, style. It's definitely our dream home and I cannot wait to bring up the girls here. love about this is if you look straight up you can see the chandeliers up there so I'll start off downstairs in here is the office Ryan and I will be sharing this space along that wall we'll put Ryan's desks and over here I'll be having my desk and some cute shelves this is the wardrobe in here so it's got all different sections so then there we're gonna put the printers and everything like that now these are the floors we chose which are really beautiful light whitewashed timber and here is the laundry so yeah we went to herringbone splashback which I love and then this is the raw concrete Caesar stone. Really nice black tap, and that's from Cook's Plumbing, which was um, a really good price as well. Here we have all cupboard space, all cupboard space. We have a hanging rail, we have like a nice corner feature cupboard. So for the tiles, we went for like a really nice light concrete look. And that's the toilet. Now we come into the main area of the house. And then here to the right, we have the dining area. So I got this beautiful black light from Beacon Lighting. So yeah, we have a nice dining table coming tomorrow with gray fabric chairs. So I'm gonna put like a nice big print of the girls up the back there. Over here is gonna be the lounge living area. One thing I love about this house is how we've made it really open. So we've got big doors and big windows to make it feel really breathable and airy. So here we have the kitchen. This is my favorite area of the house. It is honestly my dream kitchen. So I want to start off with this kitchen and then we have a little hidden butler's pantry in there which is amazing. The stone is called Color Carte Novu and that is um, the Caesar stone. What's awesome about this island bench is the built-in storage. So that is all storage under there. The splashback is the stone as well. Now, I was so scared at first to go like a black sink and everything, but I'm so glad I did. So this is the Blanco sink. I didn't want it to be too much black, so that's why I went for this chrome tap, and I think it matches really nicely with the chrome drains as well. So under here we have a dishwasher, and so that everything's soft clothes out here as well, which is awesome, because Harper loves to slam things. <laughs> and then we've got all the drawers in here. And then on the other side is heaps more drawers, lots of cupboards. So this is an ASCO stove. It's a black mat with the chrome knobs, which I love because it matches the sink really nicely. I didn't want too much black, so I went for a black mirror with the chrome. So this is a Smeg range hood, and it's actually touch screen. So that's that there. So this is our little space for the fridge. We eventually want to get a nice black fridge. And then we've got two ovens, I'm so excited. Do you know when you're cooking a lot of veggies and meat or vice versa, you always don't have enough room. So this will save me that problem. So that's the LED lights there. Okay, 
this is the really exciting part. So, in here we have a butler's pantry. It's huge, I absolutely love it. sensor lighting. To the right I have a grey broom closet. It's the same grey as the feature cupboards out in the kitchen. So it's great space for vacuums and brooms. Tons of shelves for cleaning products. Then we have a space for a microwave, more cupboards. This is the same stone as out in the main kitchen so that's a colour cut and over Caesar stone. And I absolutely love the splash back. It just looks amazing. So to the left we have open shelves, so I'm going to be putting all my containers with labels and make it all pretty. So we have another sink in here. So behind the sink is a window and along the top is some cupboards. I honestly don't know how I'm going to fill this whole kitchen up. I'm going to have to just buy lots of food. <laughs> some drawers, some more cupboards and then we have another dishwasher there. I'm not too sure why we have two dishwashers but according to my husband, we need two. <laughs> so in here we have inbuilt bins, which is really cool. So that is the butler's pantry. black handles throughout the house so I think it's a really nice modern touch so up the stairs we have lights so here we have upstairs absolutely love it up here so got the glass panels and then you can see our chandeliers here so these are from beacon lighting so I really love the black with all like the light flooring this is our bedroom we got two drop down bed side lights. So these are from Beacon Lighting as well. So these, these will look really nice next to our great bed head. My main bedroom, we walk through here and this is our walk-in wardrobe. So that is a beautiful chandelier from Beacon Lighting. I wanted something glamorous, but not too blingy. So I'm really happy with that one. So this is my side of the walk-in wardrobe. It's not finished yet. Basically you've got shelves. Those will be drawers. We've got double hanger here, a long length hanger there. We've still got another section to be going along the top as well. There's a window, a shoe rack down there. Now, this is going to be more drawers, and then here is going to be a big glass drawer, and that's I'm going to display all my jewelry on there. Got another hanger here, more shoes, and now this is my makeup desk. So, in the center, there will be a mirror with lights, they're going to be shelves, and then we've got two lots of drawers here, and I'll have like a nice chair in there. So, this is going to be perfect for doing my makeup and my hair. Not that I get to go anywhere, but yeah. <laughs> so on the other side is the wardrobe doors there. So obviously we needed a full length mirror. Well, I needed a full length mirror. Ryan's wardrobe, he's got drawers, a double hanger, some shelves. He's got more space up there. And then he's also got a full hanger on the other side as well. And 
And then from there we have our ensuite. We're still waiting for the plumber to come and put the other black spinner on. So yes, Ryan's made these LED lights behind these mirrors, which I absolutely love because it was a lot cheaper than buying an actual LED mirror. So he made a big wood board and then he just stuck LED lights around it. And then from there we silicon the mirrors on. I'm happy with how it's turned out. So we've got this massive double vanity, heaps of storage under there. That will be my side, that's Ryan's. So we love how the tiles turned out as well. A really nice kind of concrete look. And then the floors are a wood look that run all the way up that shower wall. So we went for a stone basin. We got that from the same company as I got the bath. And yeah, black tapware again, got this from High Grows. I really love how different these are. We for a stone top as well. It's a really subtle marble if you can see. And we went frameless glass for the shower. We like a little shelf for to put our shampoo and all that. And we did the black as well. So we come out of the bedroom, we'll work our way up the hallway. This is our linen closet. I really love the modern doors on this one as well. And I've got sections for all of my linen. Then across from the linen closet, we have, this is the main upstairs bathroom. Absolutely in love with the stone baths. It's just gonna be so good for the girls to bath them in. So we went for a nice concrete floor and then we followed that up the wall behind the bath to make the bath stand out a bit more. And then for the other tiles, we went for this really nice subtle marble gloss tile. I actually got the bath spout off eBay because I had this vision in my head of what I wanted, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So. Definitely you can get some good stuff off eBay. Just make sure it's a reputable seller. So this is the vanity. Lots of storage in there. Now we've got stone on the top again. It's the same stone that's in our ensuite. So the mirror is also LED. So we have a pretty decent size shower. And then we've got the little recess in there. It's the same shower head and shower mixer as our ensuite as well. And then behind the door is the toilet. The hallway is Willow's room, stuff everywhere. I really love this carpet, it's like a mid tone gray. So that's their wardrobe, which is huge. They've got so much wardrobe space. Here is Miss Harper's room, which is huge. Here, this is the upstairs lounge room, so we're gonna put a couch along there, TV up there. And this is our front balcony, which I absolutely love. I can't wait to put some nice outdoor furniture out there. We can sit out there. It all needs to be painted. And here is the guest room. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this empty house tour. I cannot wait to show you each room once it's done. Anyways, please subscribe to get updates for each reveal. And I'll hopefully be doing more vlogs as well. Bye.